Hey folks, uh, this Algebra 2 lesson, actually Algebra 1 lesson, is on solving equations by the substitution method and the elimination method. I'm going to go kind of fast. So solve each system by the substitution method. I think I have three examples. All right, so here y equals, I'm going to plug that y equals negative 3x minus 13 into the other equation right there. So see that right there is going to go right there. Okay, so that's what I get over there. Distribute that negative 2 through and uh, you get um, uh, 5x plus 26 equals negative 4. Subtract 26 and you get uh, negative 30. So x equals negative 6. So substitute x back into uh, the top equation and you get uh, y equals um, y equals 5. All right, so let's do this one. Okay, on this one, I'm going to take that top equation and subtract 5y from both sides. Now, you guys, I know I'm going fast, but, but you guys can pause it when you need to. Uh, I just want to make this video as short as possible right here. I'm going to substitute that in for the other x right there. So that went in for that x right there. Should have made that blue. I didn't see that until right now. Now distribute this negative 3 through. When I do that, uh, I get... Uh, Negative 3 plus 19y equals um, uh, 16. Subtract uh, 3. I'm sorry, add 3. 19y equals 19, so y equals 1. Plug in y equals 1, and you get uh, x equals negative 4 to get uh, uh, negative 4, 1. Okay? Nice and easy, right? All right, let's try one more, you guys. Go ahead and put that y into the top y right there. And I made that one red. Okay, distribute the negative 3 through, and you get uh, 15 equals 15. The 6x's cancel out. Okay, when this happens, you guys, when 15 equals 15, it doesn't matter what x is. 15 equals 15. It doesn't matter what y is. 15 equals 15. So when you get an agreement like that, you get uh, infinitely many solutions. Okay, don't say all real numbers. It's infinitely many solutions. Okay, all right, so... Uh, so solve using the elimination method, okay? You guys remember this. This one here, I can go ahead and add them together and get 4x, and then these guys cancel out. Negative 3y and positive 3y equals negative 20 when I add those together, okay? So x equals negative 5. Go ahead and plug x equals negative 5 back in. I, I plugged it into the bottom equation right there, and I get um, uh, y equals, uh, let's see, y equals uh, negative 3. So the answer is negative 5. 3. Okay, I know I'm going fast, but it's all from Algebra 1. So, all right, so here, you guys, what you can do, you can't just add them together like we did before. you got to either make these 1 10x or, and the other one negative 10x or make these guys 24y and negative 20, 24y, excuse me. So I, I would choose the 10s, you guys. So I'm going to take that top equation, multiply it by negative 5, and I get this equation, this red guy right here. Okay, multiply this bottom equation by 2, and you get the blue equation right here. Now I can add ready plus bluey, and I get y equals negative 45. Substitute y equals negative 45 into, I chose the bottom equation. Okay, so when I plug that in, I get, uh, ooh, I get a big number, don't I? I remember this. I get x equals 76 on this one, so 76 comma negative 45. All right, let's try this again. Okay, here, uh, if I multiply this guy by a negative 2, it'll get me a negative 6x. But when I multiply this by a negative 2, it gets me a negative 8y. And I get something funny happening again, you guys. Here I get a contradiction, you guys. Here I get 0 equals negative 16. Well, 0 doesn't equal negative 16. 0 equals 0. Or negative 16 equals negative 16. So when that happens, you say no solution. They're just parallel lines. They don't intersect. Okay? All right, all right, this one looks fun, doesn't it? Fractions. You guys freak out with fractions. Well, check this out, you guys. Look, let's get rid of the fractions. Multiply this equation. Here's a denominator 4. Here's a denominator 3. A common denominator is 12. So multiply everything by 12. Okay? So I'm going to multiply every single thing by 12. All right, so then this 4 and this 12 cancel. 4 goes into 12 three times. And then I'm going to go 3 times x, 3 times 3. Here, 3 goes into 12 four times. 4 times y, 4 times negative 1. Okay? So, you're going to get um, that over there, that blue stuff over there. Okay, let's clean this up. I get 3x. Uh, looks like 9 plus, uh, minus 4 is a plus 5 right there. So, I'm going to subtract 5. I get 12 minus 5 is 7. So, 3x plus 4y equals 7. Now, I'm going to match it up with this dude right here. Okay, welcome to Algebra 2, you guys. It's just a fraction. you got to get rid of the fraction. Okay, multiply that equation times 4. That way I get the 4y's to cancel out. So I can add them up. I get 11x, and hopefully that gets me, yep, I get 55, so x equals 5. 
you can plug in x equals 5 into any one of them. I think I'm going to choose this guy right there. Okay, so x equals 5. I get y equals negative 2, so the answer is 5 comma negative 2. And again, if you're in my Algebra 2 class, that would be your homework assignment. See you later.